SVL Free News and Views for Wednesday, August 1st. Hard to believe that August is already here, but here it is. And a little overcast today, but we're getting ready for a great week. I want to thank all of our sponsors, Mitchell College, Randy Marion, Piedmont Healthcare, Blue Harbor Bank, Fast Fields, Key to Escape, The Escape Room, Statesville Family YMCA, and McDonald's of Iredell County. And you see I'm here at Energy United, and we ran a story today on Statesville SVL Free News about their Bright Ideas program. So if you're a teacher, you have an idea for a creative learning project geared towards giving your students a new way to learn, apply today for a Bright Ideas grant. The application, grant writing tips, and more information about Bright Ideas educational grant program can be found at ncbrightideas.com. Energy United expects to award over $40,000 in Bright Ideas grants this year. The final deadline is Friday, September 14th. However, if you bake beat the early bird deadline August 15th you will have a chance to win one of five $100 gift cards. Uh, communications manager Maureen Moore says we are proud to support educators whose hard work, dedication, and enthusiasm impact the lives of so many young people. Every year we are blown away by our local educators strive to create cutting edge ways to bring learning to life in the classroom with, with the Bright Ideas grants and the early bird prizes. We're excited to offer something in return. So thank you Energy United for the Bright Ideas program and uh, we, if you're a teacher get out there and apply today. Now speaking of Bright Ideas, have you ever heard of the inverted router? It was developed right here in Statesville in Iredell County and in fact in Troutman and it, the company is Sierra Onsrud. If you didn't know what they did, Mike Furman went out the other day to meet with Jeff Onsrud, the son of the uh, CEO Tom Andrew and to learn about what kind of things they're making that Sierra Andrew. Sierra Andrew was invited last week to the White House to be the representative from North Carolina, a manufacturer. Each state sent a, a manufacturer uh, from each state around the the, uh, the country to be set up in the East Wing and uh, senators and uh, congressmen came by to see what kind of technology is out there and what's going on. It's being manufactured right here in the United States. So Jeff talks about his uh, trip to Washington. So let's hear what Mike and Jeff have to say. Thanks, Brian. I'm here in Troutman today at the uh, headquarters of C.R. Onsrud with uh, Jeff Onsrud, who's the Director of Business Development here at C.R. Onsrud. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, glad for having me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> now, you've just returned from a uh, trip to Washington, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but I'd like to kind of just uh, give a little overview of your company. Uh, it's a fifth-generation company. Uh, you've been here in uh, Troutman for three generations now, and uh, the best way uh, for me to say it is, you produce machines to help uh, other industries produce uh, consumer products and goods, right? Correct. So uh, give us a quick uh, idea of some of those customers and some things that your machines help build. Sure. So um, our machines really, they're they're really multi-purpose tool um, that can help build anything from an airplane to a car to um, fixtures for uh, store shelving to um, cabinets that go in your house to um, entire motor homes and, and boats and all kinds of stuff. So um, we kind of call it, we help shape the world. We help uh, make the products that you use in your everyday life, but our, it's our customers that are making those products. We're providing the machinery to help them produce those. Okay. And um, you've recently on, undergone an expansion here in Troutman. I think uh, you added 55,000 square feet to your to your facility here now you're at 160,000 square feet um, you've doubled your workforce in the last two years to 180 employees mm -hmm. so that's a significant significant growth uh, and uh, was that easy to do and find the workforce that you need here in Troutman? Um, you know growing at, at a high rate is always a challenge and um, getting uh, good people is is definitely something that uh, is important and isn't always the easiest to find. But we really have a great group here. Um, we've we've got a lot of people from very varied backgrounds and um, particularly a number of veterans that have turned out to be awesome um, to help us uh, grow and expand. And um, so yeah, we're we're looking to add more to the team as as we keep growing and um, working with the technical colleges to, to find those people, working with you know, the veteran placement groups to help find those people and just anybody else that has relevant experience. Now, C.R. Onsrud was uh, the one industry from North Carolina which was uh, selected to participate in the Made in America product showcase at the White House. You've mm -hmm. just returned from there. That was on the 23rd. Mm -hmm. uh, that must have been exciting to be, be invited to go up. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, a little bit of a surprise. They gave us pretty short notice. It was a little under two weeks uh, for, hey, 
you want to come up to the White House and uh, and represent North Carolina and um, showcase American manufacturing. And so, of course, uh, we, we jumped at the opportunity. Um, it, it was a little bit funny at first when they called up saying, hey, we're from the White House, and kind of, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Who? <laughs> um, but um, then it, it actually turns out that the National Association of Manufacturers, NAM, they um, had recommended us and it had also uh, sent another message. So we kind of were like, okay, I guess this is kind of a, a legit thing. This isn't somebody <laughs> pretending to be something they're not. And um, so it was a pretty cool event to uh, get to go up there. So you were up there for, uh, you went up on the 22nd, you said you had to set up, and you, so you had a display, I'm sure showing off your products and your machinery, mm -hmm. and then the audience for this show was mostly congressmen and senators. Correct. So the, um, they kind of wanted to show off uh, various American-made products to these congressmen, um, senators, uh, the President and Vice President were also in attendance, um, and a little bit of limited capacity for security reasons. But um, they they toured around and really talked to us about um, what it meant to to be manufacturing in the U.S. and what sort of issues we could use to um, help further make American jobs. And one thing you pointed out, it was exciting for you to see some of your customers there. Yeah, yeah. So it was really neat. Um, Newmar uh, Motor Coach was one of our customers that was there. They actually had a full motor coach uh, parked out on the South Lawn. Also, uh, Tracker Marine, another customer of ours, had one of their Ranger Boat Series parked out there. And then the um, the SLS Space, Space Launch Systems Orion Capsule and F-35 are both parked out there, which parts of those are made by subcontractors that use our machines as well. So it was pretty neat that a number of the, the products that were showcased were, were built on our machines. So when you see a boat or an RV, are you able to say which part of that your machine helped make? So, you know, some of those I, I'm, I'm familiar with and some of those, you know, as far as which specific parts, you know, it, it varies. But um, a large part, if it's made of uh, wood, plastic, or, or fiberglass, there's, there's a chance that they're machining it on our machines. Um, so this was uh, one of the president's big initiatives made in America promoting uh, man American manufacturing. Uh, was there a sense from the other uh, participants uh, that this is a, a great time to be involved in manufacturing in this country? We hear a lot on the news about the challenges manufacturers uh, face, and those range from uh, workforce readiness to, to now recently we've heard about uh, tariffs, things along those lines. Is there a sense of optimism right now in Amer American manufacturing, and uh, w would you attribute that to if there is? I would say that there's definitely a sense of optimism. You know, definitely everybody was excited to be at the White House, right, and to, excited to see that um, the president um, and the the congressmen are are looking to improve manufacturing in the U.S. Um, we we really got a, a sense that they were saying uh, manufacturing is the heart of the job creation because it um, it's what's used to make the products that we use. So if if that all offshores, you kind of get a brain drain effect. Um, at that, uh, that can make other economies kind of erode our base. So um, we had some great conversations with them about um, their initiatives toward making sure uh, manufacturing stays in the U.S. and that uh, jobs are created in the U.S. Um, as a result of that. Because it's not just the jobs for companies like Sierra Ron's route, it's the jobs for the companies that use our products mm -hmm. to make their products. So it's, it kind of has a multiplying effect. So you have to pay uh, attention to how it affects everyone, not just you, because it's, uh, you hear a lot about trickle-down economics. This is kind of trickle-up. If your customers are impacted by it, it's obviously going to have a big impact on your business. Yes, exactly. So, um, but in terms of uh, busyness, our customers, they're just wide open busy. It is definitely a great time to be making products in the U.S. Um, there are, you know, of course, concerns with uh, getting quality um, employment uh, opportunities, but so that's part of where manufacturing really helps and automation of that mm -hmm. really helps. Um, and kind of uh, the, the jobs that are harder, that aren't maybe as desirable, you can automate. They tend to be the repetitive and heavy lifting jobs, mm -hmm. and so you tend to automate those jobs and then elevate people to a higher level of thinking type job that generally pays better mm -hmm. um, and is uh, less stress on you. So. so Read and heard a lot about the, the tariffs. 
Uh, has that impacted your business? Uh, you mentioned a little bit about some shortages of materials due to speculation. Sure. So um, the, the tariffs have had a, a little bit of an impact, but we do use U.S. steel, U.S. aluminum in our products, so we ha we're not seeing a, a massive um, impact because we're already using those those products in our um, in our products. But um, there has been, I would say, a little bit uh, because probably more so because of a good economy than anything that uh, prices have started to creep up on those U.S. made products. Um, maybe also in speculation of a potential shortage. Um, but uh, the, the real piece, the scarcity, comes around retaliatory tariff type issues where another country might restrict um, the import or even export of, um, of cer certain goods or people worried about um, stockpiling, let's say, uh, in case there was um, a tariff to come inside the U.S. Um, really more than anything where we, we see tariff issues is other countries that aren't really following fair trade practices where they might be able to bring a machine into the U.S. for little to no um, duty, but then to go to their country, it might be a 30 or even 70 percent tariff to go the other way, which just isn't fair, right? You know, it, we want an equal playing field. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Now, uh, just as a uh, citizen, what was it like to visit the White House for the first time? Yeah, it, it was it was really neat. Um, it was it was a great honor to represent our company, our employees. I mean, our employees are fantastic, and uh, to represent them and and the quality of work that we do. Also, you know, we couldn't do it without our distributors and our vendors. So, kind of getting to go there on behalf of the the whole group was pretty cool. And um, going to the East Wing and kind of getting to see what they show on the TV shows. Let's say. Um, getting to kind of look out the window over the South Lawn and and see some of the products that we help manufacture right there um, was was pretty cool and seeing the the history all the paintings of the presidents and mm -hmm. all of that was was very cool and then the the, the president made some remarks to your group mm -hmm. um, that must have been kind of inspirational yeah definitely uh, getting to see him up close and personal and um, getting to hear how Manufacturing is a big part of his agenda. How jobs are a big part of his agenda um, was was very inspirational, and also seeing really how the other manufacturers in the U.S. are all kind of coming together and and uh, promoting that American-made um, sense was was very neat. Well, Jeff, thanks for spending some time. With okay, Jeff, we're down here in the shop. Uh, this is incredible. Tell me what we're looking at. So we're looking at a Porsche 917K. It was a 1970s Le Mans winning race car and so this is a demo we're setting up for a trade show that's coming up here it's actually made out of wrench shaped foam so a model like this could be used for aerodynamic structure uh, modeling so they put it in a wind tunnel and run scope over it and see if it's performing to the calculated uh, efficiencies that they were going for so this isn't a machine that you would necessarily sell you're using this to produce things that uh, customers want from a model so we do sell, this is a new series of machine that we are selling uh, to our clients and then our clients, for instance, might use it to make out uh, a structure like this. They might use it to trim a mold. So instead of it actually making this mold, maybe it was a, an actual component for this car and then you need to trim the flashing around the wheel wells, around the headlights or things like that so you can fit other components together. All right, well, fascinating. Uh, thanks for taking the time to show us this today. Yeah. As you can see, that's some amazing technology going on right here in Statesville and Iredell County and in Troutman. But see, outgoing uh, president of the Statesville Chamber of Commerce, David Bradley, in his farewell speech, made a big point. The key for these type of companies to succeed and grow more is workforce development. And uh, you, as you can see, there's plenty of opportunity for well-trained, well-skilled, experienced folks to uh, help companies like C.R. Onsrud expand. So, our sponsor, like Mitchell College, is providing the opportunity. If you want to go back and get a uh, new uh, trade or learn a learn a craft, go to Mitchell College, and you can get you a job at somewhere like Sierra Onsrud. Our companies are on the cutting edge uh, to right here in Statesville and Iredell County. So, I want to thank uh, Jeff and Tom for uh, allowing us to come by C uh, Sierra Onsrud. Also, want to thank Energy United for what they're doing with Bright Ideas. So, lots of opportunity right here in Statesville and Iredell County. So, hope you're having a good week, and I will see you on Friday.